We feel like there should be a warning before the film. <laughs> but please have food at the ready immediately well, when you get out of here. <laughs>
drop the mashed potatoes or, you know, the roast goes on the floor or you make a real mistake and the cake collapses, what do you do? Uh, Julia kind of welcomed that. You know, obviously all, everyone saw RBG. So when you look at this other woman, this other pioneer, how, how do you see these stories that you're able to tell relating even to each other? Yeah, you know, there are a lot of stories of women out there that have either gotten zero attention or not enough attention or maybe not the kind of serious um, attention they deserve. There's kind of a tendency to trivialize women's stories, to, in, in Julia Child's case, to kind of caricature women's stories or to not tell them fully enough. Um, that's, of course, societally unfortunate. For us as filmmakers, it does present an opportunity. Like there are the, all, this vast array of incredible stories out there that are kind of like crying out to be told and we're enjoying telling some of them. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Ruth Bader Ginsburg and Julia Child uh, had a lot in common. Of course, uh, Justice Ginsburg didn't cook. <laughs> Beyond that though, they shared a kind of determination, positive, attitude, just can do no matter what the obstacles, just keep on going. And uh, they, of course, both had fantastic love stories. I think that people have a superficial idea about Julia Child, and we really did want to go deeper. And we were able to do that uh, with the help of that material and also talking to people who knew Julia. Julia's relatives, Julia's colleagues, the wonder, her wonderful friends in Cambridge who were so acerbic and funny and her friends in France. And I think that that, in addition to all of the video that we had, really helped to bring Julia alive. Mm -hmm.